Hey y'all, it's Angel here again at the chicken coop. I'm in the shade, so I've kind of got some some um, shadows on my face, but um, today was is so funny, so ironic, because today I was going to shoot a video, and I kind of had a couple things in mind, and uh, I had ran some errands for my daughter, and I drove up into my driveway and there was trash out by the road that's a common thing we live on a major highway so I stopped my car and I went and gathered up the trash and when I was coming back I noticed that um, in the, we have a water meter out there and the water meter has a, a lid with a hole in it that you would stick your finger in to pull up the lid of the water meter and I really just by happenstance noticed that there was some um, bees going in and out of the hole in the water meter. Not very many, just like five or six maybe, not even very much. So I stood there a minute and sure enough, you know, bees would go in, bees would come out. Bees would go in, bees would come out. So sure enough, there was a... Uh, I thought there was a beehive in there. So I texted my friend that just got bees, happened to get bees uh, last week, and put the message out that I needed a beekeeper on uh, Facebook if anybody had a contact. I tried to call the county extension office and they did not answer. I don't know if it's because of this COVID stuff that no one's in the office or what. So um, within about 20 minutes, uh, a friend of ours showed up and it was. Doug, uh, a, a friend of ours that's a that I didn't even know he was a beekeeper, and so uh, we are. I'm just so excited about having ca capturing this hive, and he's going to take this hive. Um, I'm in. I would love to have a hive, and I think he's got a waiting list of people that would like hives. So as soon as he uh, gets one, he would bring one back to me. So um, I hope y'all enjoy these videos that I put together of the capture of the hive. So today I noticed we had some bees going in and out of our water meter. So I got in contact with a local beekeeper and he's going to try to open up the water meter lid and vacuum up the bees and try to catch the queen to put in the hive and then if he can do that that'll be successful and they'll be he'll be able to transfer the hive uh, into this new box he says he has random hives all throughout uh, our town and I told him I wouldn't mind having a hive I just didn't want it to be in this water main box and then somebody come to read the meter and then try want to kill the hive or anything so I wanted the hive to survive so I wanted to rescue it you can tell no one has pulled up that water meter in a long time because it's kind of overgrown with grass. It's got dirt all around it. So I think he's... There he is. There he got it. He said it's a good one. He said it already had honeycomb in it. You can kind of see it right there, I think. It's not a real big hive, but looky there. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm glad we kind of got to them before they were really big hive to disturb them. And I, I'm having to stay away. He kind of told me to stay back a little bit so to not aggravate him or anything. I think he found the queen because he sure, he got, he got busy. He wants to get that queen. Because if it gets the queen, they'll all follow him. He wants to get her and not hurt her, so I'm sure he's trying to be careful. Hey, 
Yay! Look, are they already going in there, huh? They'll start, not yet. And it, what that is is letting the other bees know, hey, she's in here. I need to get that honeycomb in there somehow. Watch out. Okay. Oh my gosh, that mini had already gone in there? That's crazy. They're trying to get to her right there. Yeah. trying to make a little hole for him to go into that box because he transferred the honeycomb into there. Yeah. They're starting to get right around that little opening. There they go. We were a couple went in then. I just had one hit me hard. Oh, I believe it. I'm surprised I have it. I'm surprised I have it. Yeah. She's been right here the whole time. You got that queen in there somewhere, Doug. I mean, that would only make sense. That's you just crazy. crawling that's what, underneath that's what it. We're yeah. looking for, Can we prop this up somehow? Cause they're look how I they're just doing that wild. crawl. That's wild. It's what you said they would do. So now you can see we're just 
wait for the last of these bees. There's a few still flying around and to get into the hive. And there's a few right here. That queen was up in this corner a lot, so I bet her pheromones are all on that corner of that box. And there was still a few flying. So they're kind of being attracted to this over here. And so we're waiting for all these bees to get in that box. But compared to the other videos, you see how many have gone into the hive. So we feel like we're, we're doing a good capture. We're just being patient and not stressing them out and letting them go in there on their own. And uh, the beekeeper had to leave for just a little bit. But they're, it's a real calm hive. I'm not nervous about being around them. And it's, I'm watching them. And if they all go in there, I'm just gonna shut the door and then he'll be back here in just a little bit. But we're just being patient. Let them go in there on their own. And that queen will get them in there because they are attracted to her. And just little by little, we see more and more going into the hive. So it, that's a really good sign according to the beekeeper like I know anything about beekeeping. As y'all can see there's less and less bees in this tote and they're all flocking around the entrance to this beehive, this capture box. So we're just waiting for more and more to go in. There's a few flying around and there's just a few back over there where they were in where their hive was so we're just waiting patiently waiting but you know every so often i'm kind of taking a video to show you all the progress of these bees so as you can see less and less bees on the outside and more of them on the inside there's just a few flying around now and what's left out here on this edge. So little by little, they're making their way into the beehive. It's getting uh, later in the day. So I think, you know, they're trying to go into the hive for nighttime. So they're just about all in there. Every once in a while, I'll see one flying around and then he'll go in. So we're just getting the stragglers in, but I think we've been successful at capturing our hive. So I'm gonna stay out here as long as I can, keep letting one or two go in there. And then eventually I'm gonna shut the little door that will capture them in there. Thanks for watching and y'all please like and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it and i hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for visiting with me bye bye